Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, this is Karthik, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. And today we are going to discuss about the topic analysis of variance. So here I gonna talk about the three types in analysis of variance. That is nothing but one way, two way and three way. So first of all, what is ANOVA? So ANOVA is nothing but analysis of variance, isn't it? So generally ANOVA is a test used to determine differences between research results from three or more unrelated samples or groups. And its uses are in the real life, ANOVA is used to compare treatments, analyze factors, impact on a variable or compare means actors, multiple groups. And it has three types. The types are nothing but one way, two way and three way. Simply it has mentioned in the another name, one way is considered as completely randomized design CRD, two way is considered as randomized block design RBD and the famous one LSD Latin square design. Let us see one way. So one way is nothing but is a classification observations are classified according to one factor. So here we are going to discuss about hypothesis. So hypothesis has two concepts null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So when they have raised a question you just accept the same that is considered as null hypothesis. The another one which you going to convert as the another one that is alternative hypothesis. So in one way the first one is we need to find the number of observations how many data they have given in the in, in entire group. So that is nothing but the number of samples. So they, they might have row wise as well as on the column wise. In one way, either one way we are going to discuss about the data. And here n equal to number of observations, t equal to summation x1, summation x2, summation x3. That is nothing but the row total or the column total. And we need to find the correction factor that is nothing but mentioned as cf t square by n. And we need to find TSS, TSS is nothing but total sum of square or we can mention in another notation SST, sum square of total as well as SSE, sum square for column and SSE, sum square for error. So we can find the error by using the total minus by the column and this is an over table. So here we have five columns that is nothing but source of variation. So the source is nothing but either we can we can derive from row wise either column wise. So in one way either one way so it may be based on the rows or based on the columns. So approximately we, every data will be considered in the columns. So between columns sum of squares that is nothing but SSC and SSC we need to find. Degree of freedom so degree of freedom will be calculated through the F test distribution. So there we can find the degree of freedom by using the value C minus 1 and n minus c and mean square values. So mean square is nothing but msc for column and msc for error. So it has a formula ssc by c minus 1 and ssc by n minus c. So I am telling about this elaborately means in two way also this will remain the same. In three way also this will remain the same. Let us see an example the following figures related to some data of three variables a, b, c, v shown on two plots. So a, b, c there are three data. So here 14, 16, 18, the data is the remaining. So here we have three rows, we just consider these the three data into columns. For the data we need to give as a solution, here we need to discuss about the hypothesis. The hypothesis will have the general command that is nothing but there is no significant difference between whatever the question they raised. For example, is there any difference between plot wise or the production wise means. So we can, we can say that there is no significant difference between production wise or else plot wise and the alternative hypothesis is just against of the null hypothesis that is nothing but there is a significant difference between those things and this is the manner so this is a table we need to apply here x1 x2 x3 are the three data which they have given in the rows we are converting into columns the data are for the first one second one third one we need to take the summation for x1 x2 x3 that is nothing but summation x1 48 summation x2 the remaining summation x3 for the formula we need to find the square values of each thing. So we are squaring individual values 14 square that is 196, 16 square that is 256 and so on the remaining things. 
for these data also we need to take the summation that is nothing but summation x1 square, summation x2 square and summation x3 square. So these are the performance we need to apply in the table. Then calculations. So the calculations is nothing but first thing we need to find how many number of samples they have given that is nothing but n. n equal to number of samples is 12 and t is nothing but the sum of all the observations that is nothing but taking all the three columns total that is equal to 204 and we need to find the correction factor it has a formula t square by n. So 204 the whole square divided by 12 we have 3, 4, 6, 8 is the data and then we need to find sum square. So sum square for total TSS or SST that is nothing but we have we have squared and added the value right. So summation x1 square plus summation x2 square plus summation x3 square we have three columns only so up to summation x3 square. For all these value we should add all the datas then subtract the correction factor therefore we will get 84. So that is the total sum of square and we need to find total sum of square for column that is SSC it has a formula we have every columns total right. So you just square the sum then divide by number of samples for example for the first column we have 48 it is a sum of that 48 the whole square divided by 3 64 the whole square divided by 4 plus 90 the whole square by 5 then the correction factor we need to subtract. So 16.8 is the value we need to find the error error is nothing but TSS minus SSC we have 67.2 this is the ANOVA table that is what we have seen in the uh, working procedure. So here between columns SSC, SSE, C minus 1 is nothing but number of columns minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 equal to 2, N minus C number of samples minus number of columns 9. For these two datas we need to find the degree of freedom. Here MSC, so MSC means square SSC by C minus 1, MSC these values and here the most important thing for these two datas we need to find the ratio, the ratio should be based on the highest value on the numerator and the lowest value on the denominator. Just look at the value 8.4, 7.47, the highest value is 8.4 that should be on the numerator and the lowest value on the denominator therefore the data will be 1.13. So this is the calculated value, we need to find the tabulated value, so, to find the tabulated value we are going to use the degree of freedom, so 2,9, so 2,9 will be find through using the f distribution table. Here 2 is nothing but will be in the x axis. So we know the diagram right. So x axis that is nothing but 2 comma 9. So 2 is in the column, 9 is in the row, the value is 4.26. This is the cal sorry tabulated value. For this tabulated value 4.26 the calculated value was 1.13. So comparing with these two tabulated value is higher than the calculated value. When it is like that there we can say that our error is very least. So therefore we can say that the H0 that is nothing but the hypothesis, the null hypothesis is accepted. So H0 is accepted. So this is for one way. Just similar to one way we are going to see about two way, right. So two way is nothing but two way classification. There we are going to have row data as well as the column data. So there we have seen TSS, SSC, SSE only, right. So here we are going to see additionally SSR. So the remaining everything is just similarly same. Look at the data, null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, correction factors and then TSS already we have now SSC and SSE. So here additionally we are going to find between rows. So between rows SSR that is R minus 1 we are going to find MSR. So here we are going to find two ratios that is FC and FR that is nothing but for column as well as for row. So both things will be compared with the error. So let us go to the problem directly, the, look at the problem, this is the data they have given in a hospital, the treatment and number of doctors. So the data are like this. So we need to check that the difference between the doctors and treatments. So let us see the null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between treatment and doctors. So alternative hypothesis, there is a difference. So here we want to use the code 15 just to reduce the values our convenience. So you can you can apply directly with the data what they have given. So here we are going to use 15 just to, to minimize the data from the huge values. So we are going to subtract 15 from each data, the remaining data will be like this. To this data we are going to take the summation, so summation values will be like this. So summation x1, summation x2, summation x3 and summation x4, here we have 4 columns. Similarly, we are going to do the same thing for the rows, the entire rows. So, we have taken x1, x2 for columns. So, 
do the same thing we are going to take y1 y2 for the rows. So, the first row will have the summation summation y1 equal to 3 for the second row summation y2 equal to 4 for the third row for the fourth row. So, this is for row wise and we need the square values to find the total sum of square right. So, for that we are squaring all these 16 datas and applied here then taken the summation for those entire columns summation x1 square and the remaining so on. So, here we are going to calculate those things n obviously 16 t is nothing but sum of all the datas. So, instead of adding all the 16 datas we are going to add either these 4 summations or these 4 summations. So, we can get t equal to 1 the correction factor will be t square by n for the t square by n we got the result 0 0.0625 in the next slide. So, step 2 that is nothing but TSS. So, we, we know already right in the one way table we have applied the data finding TSS and SSC also so just similar to the same SSR is a new thing here SSR is nothing but we have the row total right summation y1 you just square that value and divide by the number of sample here all the row have 4 samples only divided by 4 4 4 and 4. So, squaring the values and divided by 4 then subtract with the correction factor SSR equal to 11.19 ok. Here we need to find the error. So, in the previous one we subtracted the column only here additionally we need to subtract the row also SSE equal to TSS minus SSE minus SSR the result will be 5.56. So, the calculation is over the next thing we need to perform the ANOVA table the ANOVA table is nothing but which has the additional one between rows the remaining entire thing is just similarly same SSE, SSR and SSE that is what from the calculations degree of freedom is nothing but C minus 1, R minus 1 and for the error C minus 1 into R minus 1 that is nothing but 3 into 3 will be 9 mean square. So, MSC, MSR then MSE we need to find all these things then compare MSC and MSC which is the highest one apply in the numerator the lowest one apply in the denominator. So, 83.40 in the numerator 0 0.62 in the denominator divide the thing 134.52 and similarly to the, to the second one we will get 6.02. So, these are the two calculated values from the calculated values we need to compare with the tabulated value to find the tabulated value we need degree of freedom. So, degree of freedom for column 3 comma 9 for the row that also 3 comma 9. So, here 3 comma 9 will have the data 3.96. So, 3.96 will be the data which is of tabulated value. So, here we are going to compare the datas that will be 3 comma 9 the value is 3.86 the calculated value is huge than this that is nothing but 6 and 134 are comparatively higher than these values. So, for the tabulated value it is greater than the tabulated value right. So, comparatively our error is huge than the standard error that is nothing but from the table. So, H0 will be rejected and H1 is accepted here. So, whatever the conclusion means here whatever they have raised in the question so that is a that is a data similar to we need to conclude. So, there is nothing but there is no significant difference between rows and columns here it is nothing but doctors and treatments. So, finally there is another one topic three way three way is nothing but latin square design simply LSD. So, here we gonna do the same thing which have which we have done in two way additionally we gonna look at the data for treatment also the treatment is nothing but based on some group of datas. So, here we will do the same thing for column row additionally treatment. So, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are similarly same and step 1, step 2 and step 3 or the remaining everything is same additionally here we have SST. SST is nothing but treatment sum of square of treatment that is summation Z1 square, summation Z2 square and so on. Error is TSS minus SSC minus SSR additionally minus SST and the ANOVA table will be just like this all the three things we have seen already additionally between treatments here SST. So, it has K minus 1 K is nothing but here particularly every data is considered as the number of rows that should be equal to number of columns. So, K minus 1. So, here we need to find MSC, MSR additionally MST SST divided by N minus C. So, here the data is N minus C. MSC will be error divided by k minus 1 into k minus 2 this is the most important thing 
and here which is common k minus 1 into k minus 2 that is for degree of freedom. So, the variation will be for 3 tests. So, f for row and f for column as well as f for treatment. So, let us say an example in lattice square design. So, here that is a question which has 4 rows as well as 4 columns and all the observations is mentioned through some classified groups that is a group A, group B as well as C and D. Let us discuss about the solution null hypothesis as well as alternative hypothesis there is no significant difference as well as there is a significant difference. So, here the data are very huge in the observations. So, I am going to reduce the data to my convenience. So, I am using 120 to reduce all the data. I am just subtracting 120 from all the data. So, that will be in the subtraction we have x1, x2, x3, x4 as a 4 columns and we are we going to take the summation for those things. Whatever we have done in two way the same thing we are going to do here add all the rows together then let it be summation y1, summation y2 and so on and take the square values for each and every values then add all the values in the column wise. So, we are going to have summation x1 square, summation x2 square and summation x3 square and finally, we need to find the treatments right. So, here all the data are mentioned in the group data. So, the data will be in a particular group the group a b and c d so here a having all the data 2 0 2 and b having the data c having the data right so these data will be applied as a total the next column to find the following the remaining we need to find n number of observations t is nothing but sum of the data and correction factor t square by n which is all same as one way and tss tss is nothing but we know already right ssc so ssc means sum of square of column ssr additionally here sst so sst is nothing but the column total in the treatment wise divided by number of samples that is nothing but 4 then the remaining for all minus the correction factor finally sst 4.25 we need to find the error so errors is nothing but tss minus ssc minus ssr minus sst therefore sse equal to 4 Finally, the ANOVA table. The ANOVA table will have the additional thing between treatments. The remaining are SSC, SSR and SSE. Here also K minus 1 is common just because K is nothing but number of rows that should be equal to number of columns. So, K is common here 4, 4, 4. So, the, as a subtraction 3, 3, 3 and here K minus 1 into K minus 2 that will be 6 mean sum of squares msc, msr, mst as well as mse. So, we know how to find these two right. So, additionally mst that is nothing but sst by k minus 1 will have the data 1.42. Here also we are going to compare all the data with error just to divide within the numerator and the denominator. So, mse is nothing but 0 0.67 comparatively with msc 0 0.92 on the numerator 0 0.67 on the denominator we have the data for row msr by msc for the treatment mst by msc we're going to have 1.37313 6.02 so these are all the calculated value we need the tabulated value to find the tabulated value here we're going to use column 3 comma degree of freedom 6. So, 3 comma 6, 3 comma 6, 3 comma 6 is common for all the data. So, 3 is in the row, 6 is in the column that is nothing but x axis, y axis. So, 3, 6 meets here the value is 4.76. So, we had the value already. So, we just compare all these data from the data which we have calculated there fc and ft are less than the tabulated value 4.76. But the row data is greater than the tabulated value 4.76. So, as a conclusion, we can say that the difference between the method of cultivation with respective to yields in not significant. So, these are the three types in ANOVA. So, you cannot see any other topic in the upcoming classes. Thank you.